I'm going to show you what, how to make basically a protective casing for your hoop. And the reason why I do this is so that my threads don't become crimped when I'm embroidering them. So as I'm covering different portions of my embroidery, um, you definitely don't want the wood coming in direct contact with your, um, your stitches. It, it basically can smash them and um, basically wreak havoc on those beautiful threads. So all I'm gonna do is I happen, this is a piece of fleece that I have. It's a nice thin piece of fleece. Um, yes, there is bull terrier print on this, but we're not worried about that. We wanna get this edge right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut my fleece, and this is a very thin fleece. You can use something that's a little bit thicker. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut and what I'm working with here is probably about an inch and three-fourths working space, but that'll be trimmed down probably a little bit. We'll see how that goes. And I'm gonna determine how long I need to cut this. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the front part of this hoop, and I am going to unscrew this brass screw here, just completely get it out and remove it. And then I am going to measure, just manually, I'm going to put my end of my, um, my cut edge here and I'm just going to roll it around till I come about right here and then I know that's about how long this needs to be. Just a gauge, again this isn't anything too precise. Here I know that is what I'm going to use to basically wrap this. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna take this over to uh, a sewing mach machine or a serger. I'm gonna use my serger. I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm just gonna serge the edge right here and leave myself a little bit of an opening. I would say you definitely need, oh, probably about a half inch. This is about a little bit more than maybe a quarter inch. And of course we have the width of the sides. Um, I love using, and I sell on my website, um, it's F.A. Edmonds. They are based in Chicago. They sell, um, I think it is um, beech wood, hardwood embroidery hoops, and they are absolutely fantastic. I love these things. So large into the small, and then it'll tighten up for you. So... But anyway, uh, uh, back onto the type of wood and different woods. The ones that are made of bamboo or thin, they can break. Um, they're just simply not strong enough. And these definitely are. Um, I like that you can get in with a screwdriver as well and tighten it. Not that I ever tighten it that way, but you, uh, you, that tight. But it's, it's nice to have if you do need to have something that's pretty precise. If you're doing any type of stump work you may want to have that type of tension on your fabric. Um, for the type of embroidery that I do, I simply don't need it. But these are certainly thick. And another fantastic thing about these, um, these are, um, they're made in Germany and they can actually fit underneath any sewing machine um, foot. So it'll go directly underneath there and you can use these for doing some kind of like free form embroidery on your machine uh, again um, so it's, it's versatile but I use it for hand embroidery so um, let's take this up back over in the studio we're gonna I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go and just search this really quick and I will bring it back here and show you how to slip it on okay so I just came back and I just searched up the edge um, side to side and I could have gone in a little bit further but um, it, it really doesn't matter. Again, this is mainly for just creating a, a casing for your embroidery hoop. So I'm gonna take the top portion of my embroidery hoop. I'm just gonna go ahead and feed in, made just basically a little pocket. I'm gonna feed it in here. And as you can see, it fits right in there. It's kind of a perfect size. I don't think I'd take it down anymore. And I'm not too concerned about getting um, any more, um, you know, additional length because I don't want it in my way. And I'm just going to take my um, screw here and fit it in. Again, it's going to go into the larger side. 
into the smaller side. That's how you know you got it right. And voila! You don't need to do it obviously on the bottom, just one of the sides. And again, any type of just a, a, a light kind of a, a stretch or a knit fabric or an old t-shirt. Old t-shirt I would probably double up on because it's just a little thin. Um, old sweats, absolutely perfect. You want to use something on the lines of that. Uh, a stretchy terry. Um, anything on clearance or anything that you can you can find out in the in the rag bag is perfect for this and so that's that's basically what I do I do this to all of my embroidery hoops and it, it just allows me to just move the hoop around and not worry that my stitches are gonna get messed up so that is what I wanted to show you guys tonight and if you're interested in anything else that I do or, or my website which I haven't really talked about. Um, I do have embroidery kits that I create of my original designs, and they come with everything that you need, everything that I use. You get the exact same linen that I get from Belgium. And then this is a particular kit worked in DMC Pearl Cotton Size 3. So it's a nice, quick, easy um, pattern to, to start with. All of the patterns on there are anywhere from, from beginning to advance people can take advantage of working those all up. It comes with the, the background fabric, the top fabric, all of the threads, the needle. The only thing you'll need is a hoop and some scissors. And then it comes with written instructions. And I'm gonna pull them out so you guys can take a look at that. So you get the cover, kind of a larger photograph of what the, the um, design looks like as it's embroidered. I like to create stitch guidelines. It kind of breaks down all of the stitches that are in that particular thread or in that particular kit. So you just kind of get um, just a general assistance with that. And then also written instructions as well. So Anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. This is one of the ones that I've demonstrated on here. And that is gonna be, this is my new kit. It's not quite up on the website yet, but probably within the next couple of weeks, this is gonna debut. This is based on a historical design from the arts and crafts era. And basically I um, pretty much uh, researched the colors and matched them to Trendway silk colors. So it's made with the same colors that it was back in the arts and crafts area era probably about like 1907 so anyway thank you for watching and thanks and I hope your little casings work out well I encourage you to do that um, if you don't have a serger no worries just go ahead and hit it with a sewing machine or you can even hit it with the buttonhole stitch that we just learned how to do so thanks for watching